God bless you. I am Apostle Barry Glover. Glad to <clears throat> glad to be able to share a few words with you. Uh, of course, I only share faith words there. There's no doubt, no unbelief in my mouth. Hallelujah. I speak on what thus saith the Lord. Now, thank God for enabling me to do so. I wish you a happy New Year uh, 2011. And remember, the victory that overcomes the world is our faith, our faith in Christ Jesus. We walk by faith and not by sight. Hallelujah. Uh, the just shall live by faith. God is on our side. Hallelujah. I want you to know that, child of God, no matter what you see this year, 2011, no matter what you see on the news, uh, I want you to remain confident that God is your security, that He is your refuge. Uh, my message is, uh, you know, I said that I would be speaking about trouble. I see trouble ahead. I, I see trouble coming in 2011. I really don't want to see it, but it's on the way. And uh, I want you to know what to do, friend, when, when trouble knocks on your door. Sometimes trouble kicks the door in, but I want you to know what to do. Hallelujah. If you're confronted with trouble. Now, uh, God is speaking to his children. Uh, God does make a, he's good, he's merciful and kind. And, you know, God is good to all, but he does make a distinction between his children and the enemy's children. And I'm talking about, you know, God has children, of course the devil has children. If you haven't been born of the Spirit of God, if, if Jesus is not your Lord, then you're just a creation. You, God created you, but you're not in the family of God. In order to be in the family of God, you must be born into the family of God. In other words, if you must be born again. You must accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And then you'll, you'll be in God's family. But now if you haven't accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you're in a family now. But you're in the devil's family. That's right. You know, Jesus told the religious leaders of, of, of the day, when he was here in his physical body, he told them that their father was the devil. That's right. He let them know that the devil, you know, he's the enemy. He has children here on this earth. And, of course, God has children. God makes a distinction between his children. Uh, his children, God's children, are blessed. Now, it says in Psalms 34, praise the Lord. I want to tell you what to do as it concerns trouble, when you encounter trouble. Because there are people committing suicide. They don't know what to do. Uh, and I say this message is for God's children, but you can, you can be, you can, if you're not a child of God, you can become one now. All you have to do is say, Lord, save me. It says in Romans chapter 10, verse 13, for whosoever, for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what it said. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm going to go over here and, and read that. Verbatim. Romans 10, 13. It says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. All you have to do is say, Save me, Jesus. Help me. I want a new life. I want to be born again now. Come live with me inside of me and you saved, friend. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hallelujah. So, uh, and that's saved from trouble too. Hallelujah. Saved from hell, fire, but it's also saved from trouble. It says in Psalms 34, 15. Psalms number 34, verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous. The Lord is watching his children. Friend, you might, I believe, I know some of you people out there, you know, you are blessed to have children. And when your children were young, you, your eyes were upon your children. You let them go outside and play, but you kind of looked around and looked out there upon them to make sure everything was all right. 
well, it says, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. God is listening. He's waiting on, the, uh, on his children to cry, to call out to him. And, and, you know, and it says in verse 17, we're in Psalms 34. So I want you to know if you belong to Jesus, he's already watching out for you. He's looking at you and his ears is open, waiting on you to say something. Verse 17, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their trouble. That's good news. It, this scripture here, God's word say, uh, after we cry to him, say, Lord, I'm calling upon you in, in times of trouble. We call upon you because of the trouble, Lord. He was already listening. We are the righteous people. He was already listening. And he delivered. The word deliver means set free. And he sets us free out of all our troubles. He set us free from all our troubles. That's good news. It said the righteous cry and the Lord hear it. He was listening all the time. You know, God's ears are not closed to his children. And deliver them out of all, all their troubles. So all we got to do is call on him. Call on the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to finish this message. Part three. This is part two. I want to remind you, get your copies of Essentials of Faith and read it. And what I'm talking to you about on this video, I'm talking to you about similar things in this book. Uh, I'm telling you, uh, the Essentials of Faith, hallelujah. And if you are interested in prophecy, you need to also obtain the book, Cities Under Water by Barry Glover. I shall conclude in part three.